Hey, what's going on guys? A little uh, unboxing for you today. I didn't have time to do this at home. I'm ready to head out in the boat right now. I thought I could do this real quick for you guys. I got some stuff here from Tackle Warehouse, from Bass Pro. Um, I'm going to do the uh, Bass Pro stuff first here. Go ahead and move up here. Maybe you guys can see a little better. Okay. First up, we got here the Devil's Horse. This is Silver Shiner. If you guys can see this, there's a glare on the screen. I really can't see it myself. So we got the Devil's Horse, Silver Shiner. We got one in frog color. We got another one in Fire Tiger. It's a top water prop bait. I've been doing a lot of cranking here lately. Can't really get too many bites on plastics. I don't know if it's water so muddy or what it is, but uh, it seems like cranking is about the only thing that I can get a bite on. And I'm going through a lot of KVD 1.5s. I've been losing them right and left. But uh, you can see here I got a couple lure retrievers that I ordered. I'll go and show you guys the ones that I got here. I got two 1.5s and Gizzard Shad. Two of those. I got um, two in the Chartreuse Crazy Shad. This is the one you guys have been asking about. You guys may have seen that video I uploaded, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. I was fishing on the boat and I caught like a little two-pounder. But uh, you guys want to know what that color was? This is it. I actually have one. Uh, here's a 2.5 of it. You guys can see a little better. Chartreuse. It's got a reflective uh, scale pattern on it. Great looking color. So I got two of those and I got two of the natural red crawl. This is a color I did really good on last time I was out. Probably did the best on this color so far. We got one of the chartreuse sexy shad. Again, hope you guys can see this. Like I said, I can't really tell if uh, I'm in focus or not. This color I'm really excited about. This is the natural pumpkin seed. I always use speed clips, so I've been losing a lot of those too. So I got another pack of the Norman speed clips. I got a review on my channel of these. If you guys want to see how these work, uh, definitely check that out. I got some size 2 KVD Elite Troubles. Awesome hooks. And I got some more hook bonnets. So that's what I got from Bass Pro. And these are all rattling, by the way. You can't get the rattling version at Tackle Warehouse. It's a Bass Pro exclusive. So like I said, all these rattling ones came from Bass Pro. And I got a small Tackle Warehouse order. And that was, uh, I got four more KVD 1.5s here. These are the Silent. This is the first time I'm trying the Silent out. This one is Neon Bluegill. I really like this one here. This is Summer Sexy Shad. Or... Yeah, Summer Sexy Shed. Orange Belly Crawl. I did really good with this color earlier in the year. It had rattles in it though, and now Bass Pro no longer has this color with rattles, so we'll see how the silent version does. I got one in Fire Tiger. These are all 1.5s. And I got size 4 KVD Elite Troubles. I normally always use size 2, but I've been getting, like I said, getting snagged up a lot. I don't know if it's the bait that's getting snagged up or the bigger hooks. So on a few of them, I'm going to try the size number 4 and see what happens. But, uh, so I got those. And I got some Suffix Siege 14 pound Smoke Green. That's what I've been cranking with. Actually, uh, I went to spool up a reel again the other day and I actually grabbed 17 on accident. I had it at home, but I grabbed it. I thought I grabbed 14. And I wasn't sure if 17 would work well or not, but it actually throws really well. I may even step it up to 20, 
because a lot of these uh, rock banks and these little flats that I'm cranking, it's only a couple feet down, and I actually got to hold the rod tip way up high to, uh, you know, so the bait doesn't really dig in too deep and um, get stuck even more. So, like I said, I like the 17 now, so I may even step it up to 20, and uh, maybe I won't get hung up as bad. But uh, that's Tackle Warehouse. I also got one other thing for Tackle Warehouse. This is a lure retriever. On the one end, you can see the coil there. It's a telesc uh, telescopic lure retriever. You see here, there's a couple, uh, what do you want to call these? They unscrew. You can slide it out, tighten it back down. Most of the time, I probably won't even extend it because it's pretty long um, how it is. It almost reaches the seat there. But anyway, it's pretty long. Unextended, it's got a nice foam grip on the end there. This is a fray bill, but uh, really cool. Like I said, it extends up to 15 feet, so it'll definitely get me out of most of my snags. One other thing I ordered though, I've seen this on uh, Keeping It Real Fishing's channel. Really excited to use this. This is another lure retriever, but it's like the uh, you know, it's got a rope on the end here. You tie the rope onto it, it's called the 44 Mag. I really like the design of this, the you know how small it is. I think it'll definitely work uh, a lot better than the other ones on the market. The other ones are pretty big and bulky. Got bigger rings on there on the other ones, but uh, that's for if you're trying to get over bobbers and stuff, which I really don't have that issue. But um, I like how compact it is. I think it's gonna work really well. But if you guys really want to see um, a nice review on this, definitely check out Keeping It Real Fishing and uh, check out his video on this. Pretty good. So. Definitely look forward to using this. Like I said, you got a rope you tie on the end here. Slide it on your line. So that's it, guys. I'm going to pack up here, head to the lake. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.